it's an amazing thing to look at that. Really when Mark Weiner day. sees the sun, so he sees we're, energy we're really savings for his home. It's an amazing thing to look at that, even on today, you know, where there's not direct sun, no bright sun, we're still making some power. He just had two solar systems installed in his home. One makes electricity and the other no, one heats his hot very, water. Very the sun can make half of his home's yeah. power and heat two-thirds of the water his family uh, uses. This is up and running. It's an elegant system. There's no waste product to it. Sun shines, you make electricity. It shows that this one's doing about 500 watts. They're both getting a little over 500 watts right now. Vermont Solar Engineering is putting the final touches on the system. They are expensive to install. The hot water heater costs about $6,000 and the solar electric system about $28,000. It is a big investment, but the whole attraction to make your own power uh, from non-fossil fuel from the sun. It's not just the Weiner family here in Westford. There has been a big surge of interest in solar. Vermont Solar Engineering says in the past three years, their business has tripled. It was, it was a kind of a fringe um, industry for a long time, and now it, it's come into the mainstream. It's not just people wanting to reduce greenhouse gas pollution. Another reason for the growing interest, the rising cost of home heating fuel. With a solar hot water system, the most popular one to install, homeowners will recoup their costs through energy savings within six years. There's also tax incentives available through the state and federal government. Vermont Solar Engineering has a nine-month waiting list. The thing that people like to talk about is, uh, you know, how, how do you make this work in the cloudy northeast? And um, it's true that we don't get as much sun as somewhere like Arizona, but at the same time, um, we get enough sun to make it work. On this day, the sun is making enough electricity to power the home and also sell some back to the grid. You can see the meter is running backward. Here you can see, you know, where electricity and heat, where it's coming from. An investment in sun technology, hoping it will pay off in the future for the environment and your wallet. Kristen Carlson, Channel 3 News, Westford.